During this third week of March, it's common to have 700 workers on site at Dry Fork Station. But on the morning of March 22nd, only a dozen are on duty. It's a Sunday and the steam drum lift is about to begin. It's, it's taken us about uh, uh, four days to get to the point where we can lift the drum. Ron Rollis is the Dry Fork Station project manager for Babcock and Wilcox. On this morning, the drum is cut out of its saddle. It starts moving upward at about 8.30 a.m. In his career, Rose has only done this a few times before. Three's plenty. <laughs> it moves slowly, less than a foot every five minutes. As it inches, first you can see a little light between the drum and the saddle. Soon, you start seeing a little more. This is like opening the gate to, uh, to the front end of the job. Once the steam drum is lifted, other work in the boiler building can continue. Steel work can go underneath the steam drum area. More duct work can go in that area too. Lifting the steam drum is a milestone. But before the steam drum even got off the ground, it hit a few milestones of its own. The drum was shipped from China in October. After a train trip from Houston, Texas to Gillette, Wyoming, it arrived at the Dry Fork Station site in early January. After their March meeting, Basin Electric's Board of Directors and Generation staff traveled to the site to perform a tradition. They signed the steam drum. Wayne Child, Roberta Rohr, Ruben Ritholler signed it a couple times. Clyde Bush signed his name and the name of his late wife. Written sentiments other than names received a pat on the back. A couple hours after the lift started this Sunday morning, the steam drum hit a 45 degree angle. That allows it to lift past some ductwork already in the boiler building. 6,900 tons of steel has been erected, 173,000 bolts have been installed. How are you going to feel after this is all over? Well, that's a good question. You know, we, we pushed to get here and, and uh, we've stayed on track and we've had a lot of good people. This is uh, certainly a relief. Yeah, it's a relief. You know, we got a lot of work to do yet, but uh, yeah, it's a major milestone. Uh, you know, it'll be communicated throughout the whole project, uh, throughout the whole co-op. Dry Fork Station plant manager Tom Stalkup says priority on the job site has been getting everything ready for this day. The lift is happening on a Sunday because a snowstorm is forecasted to move in overnight. The stress level goes up. Is that's a every day that we lose the weather, you know, that's a delay in being able to put the drum up. The steam drum is lifted by a strand jack. The lift will take 10 to 12 hours, much longer than with hoisting engines. After we looked at the size of the plant and what we had to work with, it, this became the safest. It became the easiest way for us to uh, accomplish what we thought we wanted to do in the amount of time. Uh, strand jacks are now being used all over the world. The strand jacks are controlled by a computer. Just five years ago, this contractor would have had to watch and calculate the pressures figure out weights, do all that using sheer brain power. Once the steam drum makes it to the top, all 240 tons are held by four hanging rods. And that's all that holds it is, is basically four rods, two on each end, and a U-bolt that goes underneath the drum. That's what holds it. Stalkup says the steam drum is the heart of the boiler. It's the first place steam is collected before it heads to the turbine and generator to make electricity. And making electricity is the dry fork station's job once all the pieces are in place. Reason enough to get out ahead of the delays Mother Nature brings, in this case, on schedule. For Basin Electric, I'm Tracy Battenhausen.